For, for days now, I've been trying to reach you, but to no avail. Henry, is there anything you're not telling me? Hey. Sweetheart. You can trust me on anything, okay? Just, just let it out. What is the problem? What is bothering you? to me. Jane. Jane? What's wrong with Jane? I raped my sister. What? No. You raped your own sister? <laughs> Just tell me this is a big joke. It happened. I, I didn't know what could over me. Something just overwhelmed me and then I... I regained myself when I had done it. <laughs> I don't... with a demonic soul like you. You defied your own sister and you sit down here to tell me trash? It's Harry. You are insane. You are mad. You are mad. Your head is not correct at all. And, and you know what? You deserve to be brought in jail. You are running mad. How can you do this to your sister? Rita. Ah, no! Don't touch me! Don't you dare touch me! Don't come close to me! Henry, consider everything we've had before now over! Don't come searching for me again. Don't you ever try it. Stay out of me! <laughs> for you after everything this is how you decided to pay him back by raping your own sister Henry God forbid. Hey. you are evil you are an evil child Henry how can you even think of getting yourself involved in such evil how hmm. eh? what have we not given you what Mama, evil Please, I don't want Will you shut up your mouth? Shut, 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 shut up, Marco. Shut up. 
Just be prepared to fight this war up with your father. Because my hands are off. I come out of here. Please forgive me. Spirit, it was a led you to do it. Let that spirit be ready to, to accompany you to fight this war with your father. I will tell you everything. You really disgust me. God! Talk to Papa now. I no, no, it's not a bloody good combi. Don't have anything to do with it. Be good. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I beg you in the name of God in heaven, find a place in your heart to forgive Harry. I know it's not going to be easy, but please, he's still a our only son, forgive him. Do you really understand the gravity of this act committed by Henry? Do you? Of course I do. But Henry and Jane have committed a grave act. In fact, to use abomination is understatement. Brother and sister. Tinasa, they have to pay a price for that. They'll pay a price. I know they have committed an abomination. But please, kindly, kindly forgive him. You see, we don't need to wash our dirty linen in public. Jonathan, I have nothing again to say on this matter. Nothing. Nothing. No. I told you, my son. I told you that that family does not have a clear history. Now look at it. Is it not obvious to you now? Huh? Open your eyes, Stevie. That girl has been telling you lies. She has been telling you lies for a long time. Now tell me, how can a brother sleep with his own sister? If not for the fact that they have been having an affair for a long time. Eh? Now look at it. Still, open your eyes. That girl does not deserve you. Leave her alone. You have seen it now. You have seen it now. Forgive me, please.
your stories are heard of it is a very bad one and it has a lot of consequences attached to it but you see if I may advise you do not make a decision that will destroy your family right now I think I know what to do I know what to And this meat. Are you okay? Okay, but you won't understand. You can't understand. See, a, a problem shave is one I've solved. I know I might not be your age, mate, but at least whatever it is that is bothering you, you can tell it to me. I might have something to tell you. Ekene, I don't want you to tell anybody what I'm about to tell you now. I... I raped my sister. I don't know. I don't know what to do at this point. You can see, you, you can help me. What, what are you going to do now? At this point, I think I should end it all. What, what is the use of this life? How can I live a life of shame and disgust? Brother Henry, no. Ending your life is not an option. I know this is a very serious and drastic situation. But you see, you have to stay firm, strong and bold at this time. Don't ever think of ending your life. It is not an option. There are better days ahead. Shame, shame on me. Shame. Done to me, shame on me, over oh, the 
today she finally left the house and it was gone I don't know what to do see those children are no longer mine I don't want to see them anywhere in my house if you so much miss them why not join them I grant you the freedom to go and join them I thought something serious was bothering you huh? If I see them here, I will not have to talk with her. I will not have to talk with her. Huh? Don't talk to me that much, please. Shame, shame. Children 
are alive. They are not dead. They have gone away from me. Oh, why should this happen to me? Eros, why should this happen to me? Stop crying. Stop killing yourself. Eh? <laughs> Our God is alive. He will not allow every, anything bad to happen to your children. Eh? He will not allow anything bad to happen to your children. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stand up. Please. Stop crying. This is totally ridiculous. Papa, how could you allow Jen to leave this house? At least, you should have shown some pity on her. You see? Papa, you see? Now we don't even have an idea where she is. We don't have. I, I talked to your father, but he wouldn't listen to me. Oh, eh? He wouldn't listen to me. Personally, I've even searched for her everywhere. I've gone to the neighbors, her friends, everybody. Nobody seems to know where she is. Mm. Eh? Now, listen all of you. I owe nobody any explanation on this matter. Those vagabonds are no longer my children. Don't ask me any question about them again. You must answer a question. They can't be my children again. You have to answer a question. Now I see all of you are insane. I will not say anything more than what I've said. You have to say something now. Chapter closed. Say something. You have to go there. Your children, no? They are your Chapter children. You have to say something. Ah. What kind of thing is this? I don't care about him. I don't care about him. All I want to see is Jane. God, what have I done to this man? What have I done to him? I only allow my children to just get lost like that. Can you imagine? They're not his children. What you had about your uh, son and your daughter, Jen. The Kobo and the King. I have nothing to say about that. You mean you have nothing to tell us? How can you have nothing to say when you and your family have brought shame and disgrace to our family? What do you know about shame and disgrace? What? You are not teaching us about shame. Why are you people quick to see our faults? Don't mind them. Why? Is this the right time to be rude to your brother? Eh? You people are even the cause of this problem. You are part of it. See, if you'll excuse me, I have things to attend to in my private study. Okay. Okay. Why don't you sit? Let's what am let's I let's here with them? What are they looking for? What am I saying to do? What have they come to look for? Eh? Such a king snatch your bag of wassail. Are you going to add on us? Can you imagine? No problem. 
There is no problem. We are leaving. But remember, when trouble starts to visit you at home, make sure you don't call us. Have you solved the problem in your own home? Come on, let's go. Have you solved your own problem? Come problem on, solver. Go. Solve your own family problems. Pastor Frank, you are welcome. You are very much welcome. Welcome, Pastor. Thank you. Um, God sent me to come and deliver a message to you. I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah. Two days ago, God gave me a message for you and your family. That there's a mystery ahead coming your way. And in the message, God states that you will not be able to stand, withstand the mystery when it comes. What could it be? Pastor, please, expatiate more on this now. Don't talk to us about it, but now, thank you. Well, um, God has not really disclosed what exactly the problem is going to be. But I will advise that you give yourselves to prayers and depend on God.
My son. Yes, Mama. Take good care of yourself. I wish you the best life can offer you, dear. Thank you, Mama. Yeah? Thank you, Mama. Don't allow those women to distract you. Ha, <laughs> Mama, no, no. They won't distract me, okay? Yes, Be careful. Thank you. Be careful. Yes, Mama. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, Mommy. I'll miss you. <laughs> Take care of you. Bye. Yeah, I love you, Mama. I love you too, son. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Children, please go.
Come on, this lady is insane. She's a mad woman. Come in. No, no, no. This is my sister. She's not mad. Your sister? Yes. Please, please give me a hand. Let's take her to the carpet. Please. It's okay now. I can see. I don't understand. The baby boy your daughter Jane is about to give birth to is the mystery we are talking about. Jane, my daughter. Hey, Pastor Frank, please take me to my daughter. I want to see her right now. Please. I do not know where she is. But I can assure you that she's fine. Her baby will open up a secret. and disclose a lot of hidden scars. Uh, Pastor, please, be more explicit so we can understand you better. <clears throat> well, this child is full of mysteries. It will open up a lot of hidden scars and will unfold many past events that are evil. Well, <clears throat> God said I should tell you that you, Mr. Uzo, will not be able to withstand this great war. Pastor, you're getting us nervous. You're getting us nervous. Okay, Pastor, I've heard you. I've heard you. Um, uh, thanks for the information and the revelation. Excuse me. Pastor, please. I want to see my daughter Jane and my grandchild. Please take me there now. Like I told you, I I don't know where they are, but they are okay. So, but you just have to depend on God. Let the will of God be done. I have to take my leave now. She delivers with ease. <sighs> How about the mental disturbance? No problem. You're all surprised, sir. She's okay. She's fine. She's she's fine? She's fine, sir. Hey. Sound. Yes, sir. Hey. No, 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 sir. She'll need enough rest for now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Talking to you. Chena, sir, lead me alone. Now I know how you feel. But the thought of Jane becoming a mother is overwhelming. I rebuke you for making such a statement. Use your brain. The child born was born in abomination. 
mother got pregnant for the child in abomination? Can you listen to yourself? Can't you even see that your situation has caused me misfortune? What, what am I again? Eh? I warn you for the last time. The last time. I was actually going to your house if I met you here. What is it? You see, I overheard uh, Mazuzo telling somebody to go to one hospital, I don't know, and uh, kill one baby. And I overheard him mentioning a name Henry and uh, Jane. He was calling the baby all sorts of names Vagabond, Bastard, Jesus. Useless, a bomb, an abomination. I don't know. It's because you're close to that family. That is why I'm here to tell you. I don't know what you're going to do about it. Are you sure of what you're saying? I'm very sure. Please, do something. Jane. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please. What about the baby? Don't worry. Everything will be all right. What about Mama and Papa? I called a Kenny and I asked him to help me check up the situation at home. Did you tell him I've delivered? What did he say? He said Mama is worried. He also said he'll talk to his mother to help break the news to them. Talk to them yourself. How is Papa still on the same disposition? He... He has refused to take my calls. You... you Hello, but I it's it's me again. Yeah. I, I hope all is well. Yes. Please, someone just told me that he overheard your father telling someone to kill a child. And he made mention of you and Jane being in a in a hospital with the child. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, you have to leave there as fast as possible, immediately. What is it? Ugo, thank you very much. Thank you. You're yeah, really fine. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How can I help you please? Thank you. I am looking for my sister, Jane Uzo. She just delivered a baby here. Oh, yes. Which will be passing? She's in ward nine. Mm. So, sir, you didn't go with anything. Oh that, you see, it was an impromptu. I just heard of her delivery. Okay, so no problem. Welcome. Find them. 
I even checked the other world's room. But that day when I come down to check something. Hmm. If it's the woman in the ward 9, they have been discharged. Discharged? Yes, sir. What are you saying? Eh? Are you telling me you couldn't accomplish the assignment I gave you? You are an idiot. You're a fool. Yes. Get away. Get out. I said get out. Huh? Hey. Why are you shouting? Hey, give me my mouth so that we fake pastor. Why are you shouting? What is the problem? Hey, give me my mouth so. That won't fake pastor. Hi! No. Eh? What is this? Hi! Save those. Yeah. I wonder what would have happened to us if it wasn't for him. Jane, I'm sorry for what I put you through. I'm really sorry. Let it be. I have forgiven you. I have. I just hope Jane and her baby are fine. And also Henry. Because it's over a year I set my eyes on them. It's all your fault, Mommy. It's all your fault. Even when Pastor Frank told you she was going to put to bed that same day, you still did nothing for your own daughter. How can you blame me for what I don't know? How is it my fault? Even the pastor could not say their location. So how do you expect me to find them? I've done my best too. There's nothing I could do, so I only resorted to prayer. And I was assured that they are fine. Don't even tag me a bad mother, because me, I'm not a bad mother. I'm not. What I'm assured is that they are okay, they are fine. There's nothing else I can do. I begin to go from street to street to look for them. How will I find them? Oh. 
question answer. What is the matter? This is all like you. Tell me, I am your friend. Eh? What is it? My sister. My husband's character has changed. He has been secretive these days and he hardly comes home. He's now very far away from me. You know it hasn't been easy with you. Neither is it with him. Yes, I know. Since Pastor Frank told us that James child is going to be a mysterious one. His character changed. In fact, I can't even figure it out. Hmm. You just have to pray. Be strong and courageous. There's nothing God cannot do. Just hold on to him. With time, everything will be all right. Remember his words and run to him any time you feel downcasted. I have a strong feeling that your children are okay. Huh? Thank you very much. You have indeed been a very good friend. Thank you. Just relax. Thank you. Relax.